Murphy Aircraft is back in force. Over the years, the ANN crew, especially Jim Campbell, has flown just about everything this company has built and approves. Now with new direction, the Murphy gang is back on the job. The display included a few of the Murphy Moose generation, one attached to a PT-6. Yeah, this is the monster backcountry airplane in the experimental world and especially with the PT-6 turbine engine on the front. It, there's really nothing else like it. If you wanted this kind of performance, you'd have to step up to a Turbine Beaver or a Kodiak, which is out of most of our price ranges. So uh, I decided to try and develop a turbine package for this incredible airplane that would make it affordable for not everybody, but at least make it more affordable to a lot of pilots. What kind of numbers are you getting out of it? So we're at cruise, we're getting 200 miles per hour true airspeed up at 12,500 feet on about 25 gallons per hour of Jet A. And you know, Jet A is typically less expensive than 100 low lead. I had the M14 radial engine on this airplane and I was burning 20 gallons an hour. So, you know, I'm burning a little more gas, but I'm going a lot faster. So it's all relative. I enjoy flying the backcountry of Idaho and I've sat behind turboprops for probably 15,000 hours. And I just really enjoy the dependability, the low maintenance, and the reliability of that engine is you just can't beat it. We do the firewall forward conversion. It's not as much as a lot of people think. A lot of people have come up to the show. Some have just walked by and go, I can't afford that. So I should have put a sign on it. But we're doing the firewall forward with a prop. And then there's a couple of options that might vary the price slightly, but it is right at $250,000 right now. Really? Yes, I know. Okay, that, yeah, no, that is surprising. You, you know, you get to put the T word in front of anything, right. and we're talking megabucks. Exactly, yeah, but the Dash 20 engine, which is a fantastic engine, uh, there's quite a few of them out there in the used market, and so these are mid-time engines, but for most of us that fly only 100 hours a year, it's going to last a long time. 